we've had a lot of changes in homiletics in the last 50 years with H. Grady Davis, uh, Good Lutheran, um, and Fred Craddock and, and numerous others. But for all of the changes that have taken place, particularly in terms of narrative and plot and sensitivity to preaching being conversational, and for all of that, we have become better teachers in our preaching. But we haven't necessarily become better proclaimers of the gospel. Teaching needs to be both, preaching needs to be both teaching and proclamation. And teaching, essentially, I, I, let me try and make a distinction between teaching and proclamation. Teaching, teaching talks about something. So teaching may talk about God, where proclamation introduces us to God. Or another way of thinking about it is what one of my graduate students came up with. He said that teaching, a after I've heard good teaching in a sermon, I want to say, oh, yes, now I understand. Thank you, preacher. But he says, after he's heard proclamation in a sermon, then he says, oh, yes, now I am redeemed. Thank you, God. And that's the distinction. Now, what that actually means is that at some point in the sermon, the teaching needs to move to proclamation. Teaching is essential. And if you were only going to have one or the other, teaching or proclamation, it has to be teaching. There has to be a solid foundation out of which these words of proclamation come. Because the proclamation, words of proclamation are essentially times where the preacher dares to step out of his or her own self and speak directly for God, first person to second person, to the congregation. You are mine. I love you. I will not let you go. I died for you. Those, those kinds of statements are proclamatory statements. And, and uh, the purpose of preaching is to lead us to that kind of proclamation. But many sermons only teach. And, and if one were to start one's preaching with that kind of proclamatory word, and were, were never to do any teaching, it would be empty. It would be, um, it would be I sometimes compare it to, um, uh, well, it would be a, a lot of emotion without any substance. <laughs> 